Hi, my name is Greg Poss, and I would like to introduce a program that really works to increase mental strength. First, a little bit about myself. Uh, I played at the University of Wisconsin. I played three seasons uh, professionally at the AHL level. In my third season, I suffered a career-ending knee injury and got, got into coaching at a young age. Uh, I coached professionally for 27 years in Europe and North America. I was fortunate enough as a coach to, to be involved in several teams that won championships in Germany, Austria, and North America. Um, I was head coach of the German national team, and I was an, I was an assistant coach with various uh, USA national teams. In my whole playing and coaching career, I was always looking for a way to make myself and my players mentally stronger. And I worked with a lot of people that specialized in increasing mental strength. Uh, but every time I asked them for a specific program uh, that could help, um, I never really got uh, good answers. Then, uh, about four years ago, uh, I was coaching in Salzburg, Austria, and a good friend of mine who's a medical doctor who I knew from the, from the University of Wisconsin was visiting with his family. And he asked me if I had spoken with another friend of ours, ours Dr. Naraj Najawan. Um, and I said, no, I haven't spoken to him in 20 some years. And my other friend said, well, um, he's working with the Marquette golf team on, and, uh, in, in, in increasing their mental strength. And they never won a Big East championship in 25 years. After he worked with them, they won three Big East championships in three years. That obviously caught my attention. I, I got uh, Dr. Naraj Njawan's phone number. I reconnected with him. And after speaking with him for about 10 minutes, I was like, wow, this is the stuff that I've been looking for. Finally, a system and structure of how to be mentally stronger. I now work with a lot of uh, top athletes in, in hockey, golf, tennis, American football, soccer. Uh, we also work with uh, several business entities on improving their culture and productivity. And it's all based on uh, being higher brain. Um, I've also written a book called Your Brain Deserves 10 Minutes a Day. And the title of the book comes from uh, a lot of my conversations with clients when I, the first time I speak with them, I ask them what they're doing specifically to be mentally stronger. And even the people at the highest levels of their profession are invariably doing nothing. They're leaving it all to intuition. And now we know we can intentionally um, increase our mental strength. Just like we go in the gym to make our body stronger, we can now uh, do a program that has a system and structure that when we follow it and we give our brain at least 10 minutes a day, that we can actually uh, have profound impacts on our mental strength. And this is a quote from Jupp Heynckes, one of the one of the top soccer coaches in the world, coaches Bayern Munich in the German league, um, and uh, he's got some of the best players and highest paid players on his team. They've got all the money and all the fame uh, they could ever want. And uh, once again, they're playing at the top of their profession. And even he says, most players go through their careers with fear, desperation, and unhappiness on the inside. They retire with the real player inside, but never truly coming out. Now, we have a system and structure to have that player truly come out on a regular basis. What is our definition of mental strength or increasing mental strength? It's making a shift from our lower survival brain, which is in a fearful state, to our higher fearless brain. And we now know we can make this shift consistently, which will help the real player come out, and we can all make this shift intentionally. What is the role of our brain, especially our lower brain? Survival. And now we know we need to reprogram from survive to thrive. What's the number one predictor of success? And all the top companies in the world are building their culture around this, whether it be Starbucks, Southwest Airlines, Google, um, they've figured this out. Is, it, is the number one predictor of success, is it money? Is it fame, recognition? Is it C, sense of play? Is it learn new skills? Is it sense of purpose? Well, um, all those things are important, obviously, but by far, the number one predictor of success is sense of play. Why? Because when we have a sense of play, when we are having fun doing our task, 
um, to the best of our abilities. Now we have the now we can put a lot of time and quality time into what we're doing, and that's going to produce the maximum result. We know we can train our brain to have fun all the time. And we're not talking about going to the beach fun. We're talking about eat fun. Engaged, activated, and thrilled with the moment-to-moment -moment joy of our task. There is no greater joy than eat fun. We teach players and coaches uh, all the tools, and we give them a toolbox to make the shift from lower to higher brain. And being higher brain is an accelerant to everything uh, that you're doing. It doesn't replace anything. It just makes, for, for coaches, it makes players more malleable. Now they can work with them better. For players, if they're working on their skill development and their higher brain, they're going to develop skills at a higher rate. Uh, their, their nutritional choices are going to be better, for example. Uh, their coordination is going to be at a higher level because their focus and awareness will be peaked and their power and speed training, any kind of program or physical physicality uh, that they're trying to improve will be better because they'll be much more equipped uh, to stick to programs and be effective with them. Basically, we have hunter-gatherer brains colliding with the modern world. We need to upgrade our brains. Through neuroplasticity, we know we can grow our brain like we grow a muscle. For example, in, the, in this picture, those little black things on the end of those branches are neurons. We are born and we die with the same amount of neurons. Uh, but with our thoughts, we can grow those dendrites. We can grow them much fuller. Um, and we choose, like I said, with our thoughts to grow our lower brain that blocks us, or we can grow our higher brain, which, which puts us in a high performance state. Um, and this goes much deeper than only positive thinking or having a positive mental attitude. Um, we now know we can actually make structural changes to our brains. And this is an overview uh, of the program. We teach seven tools uh, to get out of our lower brain and get into our higher brain on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And when we apply these tools on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, once again, we can intentionally be higher brain dominant and optimize any performance we are trying to optimize. This program is based on science and research. Uh, being higher brain will improve your performance and positively impact all aspects of your life. Thank you for your time.